Hello, thank you for returning. In the previous video, I told you what mass percentages of elements are and how they are calculated and how the mass percentages are then further used to find out the empirical and the molecular formulae that is to identify the compound. We will study how to calculate the empirical and the molecular formulae of compounds whose mass percentages have been found out. We will deal with two questions to clarify this uh, process. A compound contains 4.07% of hydrogen, 24.27% of carbon and 71.65% of chlorine. The molar mass of the compound is given to us which is 98.96 grams. You have to find out the empirical formula and the molecular formula of the compound. What are the steps in this uh, solution? The first thing that you do is that you know that if you had 100 grams of the compound, then 4.07 grams would be hydrogen, 24.27 grams would be carbon, and 71.65 grams would be chlorine because that's the percentage. So if it is 10, uh, I mean these many parts of 100, if it was 100 grams, it would be those many grams of a 100 gram sample of the compound. So the first step is to convert the mass percentages to grams, which is nothing but writing instead of percent, writing it as grams. So hydrogen is 4.07 grams. Carbon is 24.27 grams and chlorine would be 71.65 grams. That's the first step. Convert all the mass percentages into grams. The next step is that you have to convert them. Now these values are to be converted into moles. The grams of every element should be converted into number of moles of that element. How is that done? You should have the mass of that particular element divided by the atomic mass of that element would give you number of moles. So hydrogen we know has a mass of 1008. So how would you calculate? The mass is 4 points. So how would you calculate the number of moles of hydrogen? It will be 4.07 divided by 1.008 will give you the number of moles of <coughs> hydrogen. This would be, <coughs> excuse me. 4.04 moles. Similarly, carbon is 12.01 is its mass and how much carbon do we have? 24.27 grams of carbon. We have, if we divide it by atomic mass in grams, the atomic mass is 12.01 grams. You'll get the number of moles. How many moles would this be? This would be 2.021 moles. Similarly, for chlorine, if we calculate 71.65 grams divided by the molar mass, that is 35.453 grams of chlorine would also be 2.021. So what have we done? We have found out the number of moles if whatever is the mass percentage of the element, we convert that mass into number of moles. I mean, we convert that mass first into grams and then we find out how many moles would that be. Now we have the value of moles. The next step is to find out the ratio between these elements. Once we come to that little minimum ratio, that minimum ratio is known as the empirical formula. So what is the best way to find out the minimum ratio? Find out whichever is the smallest value in whatever you've calculated. 4.04, 2.021 and 2.021. 0 .021. These two are the same and they are smaller. So we we'll divide all three values by the same number. If you divide all three values by the same number, the ratio would remain the same, isn't it? So we are trying to find out the ratio between the three elements. That is hydrogen is to carbon is to chlorine. So divide this by 2.021. Divide this also by 2.021 and divide this by 2.021. These would be equal to 1 and, and what would this be? This would be equal to 2. 
Do you see? We have divided all three values by the same number so that the ratio, because the idea here after finding out the number of moles, the idea is to find out the ratio between the number of moles of each element. So to find out the ratio, we divided all three by the same number and got the minimum ratio. So now what is the ratio that we have? We have hydrogen is to carbon is to chlorine. Hydrogen is to carbon is to chlorine would be equal to hydrogen is to carbon is 1 and chlorine is also 1. In order to write the empirical formula, normally in hydrocarbons, we have carbon first, we write carbon first and then hydrogen and then we have the substituent in a formula. For example, methyl chloride would be CH3Cl, ethyl chloride would be C2H5Cl and so on. So we, what do we do now? We write carbon first and hydrogen second. So the ratio, now when we write the empirical formula, it would be carbon, there's how many carbons are there? One carbon, so hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, how many hydrogens are there? Two hydrogens, CH2, and there's one chlorine. So the empirical formula would be CH2Cl. Now, we must calculate the formula, the mass of the empirical formula. The empirical formula mass, what would it be? Carbon is, carbon is 12.01, 12.01 plus hydrogens are 2, so 1 into 2 would be 2, plus chlorine is 35, sorry 1.008 it is. So how much would it be? 2 into 1.008 you'll do. And 35 to into 1.008 plus chlorine is 35 point, how much is it? 35.453. That's the mass of chlorine. When you solve this, the value that you get is 49, 49.48 is the empirical formula mass. Now, when you have empirical formula mass is 49.48, you have to calculate how many times is the empirical formula, how many, with how many numbers should you multiply to get the actual uh, compound. So what do we do? We, empirical formula mass is given to us and molecular mass is given to us. If they are different, find out the empirical formula mass, sorry, the molecular mass upon empirical formula mass it should be. The molecular mass I wrote this wrong. It should be molecular mass upon the empirical formula mass. The molecule would give you the number of times you to multiply it with. So how much was it? It was 49.48. 49.48 is the empirical formula mass. So molecular mass given to us is 98.96 grams. Both of these are grams. So what would you get? The value? This would be 1. This is 2. So the value of n is 2. What is n? n is a number with which you need to multiply the empirical formula in order to get the molecular formula. So if n is 2, you have to multiply the complete empirical formula by 2. So multiply each element by 2. Carbon is 1, so carbon would now become 2. Hydrogen is 2, multiply by 2, it will become 4. And chlorine is 1, so chlorine becomes 2. So C2H4Cl2 is the molecular formula of the compound, right? So did you understand what we did? We first converted to grams, then we converted these grams into number of moles of each element. Once we found out the number of moles, we divided the, all the values, all the number of moles by the smallest value in order to achieve the least uh, ratio. Once we come to the least ratio, we then find out the mass of the, we can calculate from that the empirical formula of the compound. And once you calculate the empirical formula mass, you write molecular mass and you divide it by empirical formula mass to get the value of n. And n is a number, a whole number, with which the empirical formula should be multiplied in order to get the molecular formula. 